All right, so I'd like to start right on time. Even though there's, there's only a few of us here, we are going to get going. And uh, welcome to the uh, schematic reading part one. If you are one of my students, this is part of your training. And this also, if you're not one of my students and you're a guest, then this is what we do from time to time with the online HVAC training is do, to, to do some live training. And then this gets recorded and broken up into separate parts and then put into the tra training curriculum for those students who could not attend. I, I do have some in Australia and Alaska and the western part of Canada, so sometimes the time frame doesn't work. So tonight we are going to get into reading basic schematic diagrams. And we're going to cover probably from schematic symbols. And I'm going to try and get to maybe here. It just depends on how we go. If you're not familiar with schematics, this is a lot to absorb and a lot to get your head wrapped around. And I don't want to rush through it. We have plenty of time to do this. And if it takes five parts to get it right, then we'll do five up five part series. And, and if it takes 10, we'll do 10. So we're going to get started with that. Also, to let you know, this is our new presentation whiteboard here. So we're testing this out to see how this integrates with the live streaming. And this is a preliminary test before we do live streaming from a real classroom with a whiteboard and multiple camera angles. So if we can pull that off, um, I'd be very excited to have that happen. So let's start. Again, this is for my HVAC technician course. So if you're an HVAC te technician already, you're familiar with some of this. But just to give you a quick brief, the schematic diagrams that uh, you'll find are almost always on the inside cover of the, of the equipment that you're working on, whether it be a rooftop system or a residential system. So if the outdoor unit, you take the cover off to the electrical panel over here, it, uh, it will have a some type of schematic diagram and the same with the indoor unit. And if you're lucky, train sometimes has service specs, which has even more information for you. And if you're unlucky, then this will be completely destroyed and you're gonna to have to re rely on chasing wires to do it. So when we get done with our schematic diagram training, you're gonna be able to take an, a look at this and read it like a roadmap and understand everything that's going on here. Now, I know this seems very intimidating right now, but once we get done and we go through this, then you're gonna get the hang of it. And by the end, we'll be, going, we'll be stepping through this and drawing through this and developing this diagram to show you how to read it. All these schematic diagrams and laddered diagrams and pictorial diagrams all help you take this right here and make sense of it. So this is the inside of a Lennox heat pump. And this is the cover. So what you're looking at here is represented in the nice little roadmap here to help you figure out what's happening without having to take and follow this yellow wire to wherever it goes. You can see where it goes from the schematic diagram. It makes it much easier if you know how to, to read this than trying to chase those wires. A couple of things that we need to know for schematic diagrams, and that is open and closed or make, made circuits make or break. So let's look at this circuit right here. This switch is closed. So, so it's what we call made. This switch is open. And that's what we call break. So it's a make or break, closed or open, however you want to do it. So if you hear those terms, um, make or break, that's what they're talking about, open or closed. The, the other thing, all, all of the schematic diagrams and every electrical circuit that you're going to be working with consists of power, line, switch, and a load. 
So this is a previous schem uh, miniature schematic diagram. So when we're talking about power, we're talking about input power, whether it be from a battery, but usually it is from uh, your wall outlet or the disconnect switch on the equipment. That's your power coming in from the circuit breaker panel. The line refers to the wiring in the circuit. And then, you, of course, you have a switch, and there's different kinds of switches in our in our equipment, but whatever type of switch it is, there always will be at least one. And then we have what's called the load. The load in this instance is a is the is the fan motor, and loads are the part of the equipment that do the work. So if it's a light bulb, that's the load. If it's a heat, an electric strip heater, that's the load. If it's a fan ceiling fan, that's the load. And every circuit in your house has power, line, switch, and load. Same thing with every, every piece of equipment, HVAC equipment that you'll be running, work, running into.